made you laugh and buckle loose with their hilarious brand of local style humor. Their unforgettable and high profile characters have landed them a much deserved place in Hawaii's popular culture. They are James Roche and Tony Silva, better known as the Bradas, two local boys who have made it their business to keep Hawaii laughing. Tony Silva talked to us about what growing up in the islands was like for him and some of the people who helped shape his childhood. Growing up, we went from country, uh, Kailua, Kahalu, Haula. Uh, then we went right around the, the island to the other side, Waipahu. Uh, from Waipahu, moved to Pearl City. And that's the basis of a lot of our characters, right there. If you just took that, that piece of information and all the people that I got to meet um, that got stored in my brain and, and as I got through with school, these characters would come to mind. Tony realized early on that he had a knack for making people laugh. It was in like fourth grade when you started impersonating friends, teachers, or people that mean a lot to you, close to you. Um, and it wasn't just, it wasn't to make fun of, but to have fun with because People was always, you know, making fun of you during recess and fourth grade. I mean, I, I'm still trying to figure my way out. Tony had a fairly normal childhood, and after he graduated from high school, he had plans to join the military. After graduating, I was headed off to Fort Knox, Kentucky for uh, basic training. I was going the military route. So, so you must have, you know, at that point, you knew I had a sense of humor because I really thought I was going down this serious path of military and <laughs> next thing I know, my aunt was knocking on my door. Hey, you want to go to Japan to perform in a Polynesian show? I got to go to military school. What are you talking about? She goes, no, it's only for six months. So I put the military school on the side, on the back burner. From there, Tony's life took a much different course than he had originally planned. When Tony returned home to the islands, he took a job dancing hula at the Don Ho Show. That's where he and James first became friends. The relationship evolved at the Don Ho Show. Remember, we're talking night in, night out, six nights a week. And so while we were waiting, you know, in between each act, as we were the fillers and the dancers and whatever, so while we were waiting, we would just come up with different scenarios, different type of pranks, like you were saying, different types of things, just to pass the time. After their stint at the Don Ho Show ended, Tony and James moved on to other projects. Uh, Lanai and his partner, his radio partner at the time, uh, they wanted to do, uh, I guess, another one of their series of, of, um, of, you know, those remake songs. We started to work on a project, you know, they kind of bailed on it, so I just said, you know what, I'm going to just run with this. And uh, basically the only person that I thought that could, that could roll with me as far as, you know, being impromptu and just kind of having the, the, um, the uh, culture background was T. Silva. So I went to his house and presented it to him and I said, I'd mull it over, think about it and see what you want to do. And uh, that's pretty much how the Bradas came about as far as just, the, just us forming it. That fateful meeting led to the duo's very first project together. Smoky Time, that CD. That was our first project. Well, we took three, six months to finish this project. And at that point I knew, wow, we got something pretty cool. Their next decision was deciding what to call themselves. Well, I was thinking, you know, every time, you know, you have some success, there's always going to be people who are happy for you, and there will always be some people who are a little bit more pessimistic and may not share that same emotion or that resolve about what it is that you're doing. But if someone wants to ask him, hey, who's those guys over there? They would have to say, oh, that's the Bratas. It's a term of endearment right off the bat and it quenches any negativity right off the bat. So even if you're hating on us, even when you hate on us, you still gotta call us the Bratas. And because at the time, the sisters was already taken. Oh. <laughs> and so the Bratas were born. The duo honed their craft over the years and have become very successful, but they know they wouldn't be here if it weren't for those who inspired them. To give credit what credit is due with 
uh, the comedians that have come before us, especially the ones that have done television, Booga Booga, uh, Frank DeLima, uh, Andy Bumatai. Audially and visually, from our childhood growing up watching these shows, we've basically taken all of this material, grounded it up, and tried to come up with our own. In addition to Hawaii's comedy legends, the Bradas also owe a great deal to the family and friends who were the basis for so many of their favorite and most popular characters. My top two is Don Ho and Hei Ha. Don Ho because he's the main staple of Hawaii and my other character is Hei Ha because of the Samoan, my Samoan background, not necessarily my culture, but what I was brought up in. I can relate, so when we get together, it's magic because it's like I'm, I'm being a kid again. My favorite characters to do, I would have to say Keoki, the Kumuhula, and uh, probably Fiti Fiti, which is the brother of Hei Ha. And uh, just the banter, just what you're able to talk about. You know, you could pretty much say anything with Fiti Fiti and Hei Ha, and just the antics, the accent, and the way we present them, because they are full of laughter. The Bradas continue to create comedic magic, both on the small screen and at their live performances. OC16 has been there supporting them from the beginning. We're sitting here because, you know, they said yes, just to support just the support, and you know, you really don't find that kind of support elsewhere, you know, where you can go in on one handshake, and then 10 years later, and 100, almost 100 episodes later, with Oceanic, you know, they you know, definitely have provided us an unshakable platform to be able to present Hawaii with what it is that they think is funny. The Bradas air exclusively on Oceanic Time Warner OC16. Log on to OC16.tv to see current showtimes or to watch back episodes in our video library.